Good morning. Today is Friday, February 11th. We're bringing you the latest news, making headlines to help start your day. Breaking overnight, a woman shot by police outside an Atlanta Greyhound bus station. Yeah, the gunfire coming after a stabbing inside the station. Our Megan Packer has the latest details on this as she starts off our morning news rewind. Grabeer and Rob, we understand three people are getting medical treatment right now. There is the uh, two stabbing victims and then the suspect who police shot on the scene there. We have video from this scene overnight. This is the Greyhound station on Forsyth Street in downtown Atlanta. This all happened around 1030 last night. When officers got to the scene, they say they encountered a woman armed with two knives who would not drop them. As she got closer to an officer, that is when that officer opened fire, shooting the woman and taking her into custody. That suspect, as well as the two victims who were stabbed, a man and a woman, are all in stable condition. Police say the victims were stabbed inside of the Greyhound station and the officer shot the suspect outside of the station. Here's how police describe what happened. The officer approached that person and started giving verbal commands and that person was armed at that particular point with two knives in their hand. The officer continued to give commands to drop the knife and the uh, subject just would not do that. Now, the officer who was involved in this was not injured. This is at least the 12th officer involved shooting. The GBI has been called in to investigate so far this year, just a little more than a month into the new year. We are live outside of Grady in Atlanta this morning. Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thanks for that update. We have shocking new video showing the moments a woman lunged at a bank teller and walked away with stacks of cash. Tori Cooper has the video and the details of what led up to the incident. Tori, what have you learned? Good morning, Rob. Yeah, it all happened right here at this Chase Bank located on Buford Highway in Gwinnett County last month. Police say a woman became very angry when she tried to withdraw more than $13,000, where frankly, she didn't have the credentials to match up with that account. That's when they say this happened next. Take a look at this video. You can see the woman jumping over the counter. She gets in a fight with the bank tellers and police say she eventually grabbed a pair of scissors. She eventually walked off with $750 worth of cash right out the door. Security experts telling us those who were standing there watching could have done their part. Our tendency is we want to stay there and watch, but that's exactly what you shouldn't do. You should leave and call the police. Now, the security experts also say that nothing is worth your life. And obviously, if you are in a situation like that, just always keep that in mind. We're going to continue to track whether or not Gwinnett police are able to track this woman down. And if so, we'll make sure to share it with you right here. Reporting live in Gwinnett, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Thanks for that update, Tori. It is uh, just about 635 now and developing. Atlanta leaders are responding to criticism over a $300,000 statue, which is intended to honor Native American influence in Georgia. Council member Michael Bond spoke with the Muskogee Creek Nation. The tribe is concerned about the design of a statue of Chief Tomachichi. Scholars say he would have likely worn pants and a shirt, not just a pelt around his waist which they say presents an inaccurate image of Native Americans. These types of conversations are important, and do we wish that they were consulted up front? Of course we do. But is there a positive way that these two groups and communities can get together and move forward that, that works as a win for all, all parties? I think that's definitely the case as well. Now, the city doesn't technically own the statue yet, but plans were in the works to install the statue at Peace Park. Now at 635, we're keeping an eye on today with the stories you need to know. The U.S. State Department is asking Americans in Ukraine to leave the country now because of the increased threat of Russian invasion. Today, Britain's defense secretary is visiting Moscow for talks on easing tensions and to urge the Kremlin to pull back more than 100,000 troops amassed near Ukraine. Meantime, four U.S. Navy warships are on the way to the region to support other American forces there. California regulators are accusing Tesla of discriminating against black employees. In a lawsuit, the state says Elon Musk's company turned a blind eye as workers faced racial slurs in its Bay Area factory. The complaint also alleges Tesla kept black workers in lower level roles and paid them less than their white colleagues. Tesla called the suit misguided. It says the agency has looked into 50 allegations of discrimination in the past and never found any misconduct. Fewer Americans filed for unemployment benefits last week. According to the Labor Department, first-time filings for weekly jobless claims fell by 16,000 to 220,000. 
Uh, filings have started to drop again after a surge in January because of the impact of the Omicron variant on the workforce. Clark Atlanta University is named Willie Slater as the school's new head football coach. He spent 16 years at Tuskegee and led them to a seven, seven conference titles and an HBCU national championship. He was also previously recognized as a national coach of the year. And the NFL award winners are out and Packers QB Aaron Rodgers is the league's most valuable player for a second straight season. Rodgers threw for 37 touchdowns, just seven interceptions, led his team to a 13-4 record. This marks Rodgers' fourth MVP award over his career, leaving him just one shy of tying the legendary Peyton Manning <laughs> with the most all time. Happening this weekend, if you're preparing for a big Super Bowl party, prepare to pay up. Yeah, like a lot of things, uh, it's going to cost you more than it has in the past. Avocados are up 59% over <laughs> last year. the guac. Year. Yeah, the guacamole is going to cost you more. Some 124 million pounds likely to be sold this week. Americans are also spending 30 cents more a pound on the 1.4 billion chicken wings that'll be eaten during the Super Bowl. And football fans expected to munch on 112 million pounds of chips and other snacks. It's anticipated that we're going to spend 14 to 15 percent more on our Super Bowl item as it relates to snacks. They haven't gone up that much. They've gone up about one to two percent. Higher prices aren't expected to slow down spending, though, because Super Bowl Sunday is second. Get this only to Thanksgiving when it comes to the amount of food that Americans eat. Well, yeah. Apple plans to improve the safety of its air tags after complaints about unwanted tracking and stalking. The company said the devices will undergo software updates this year to add more safeguards for users. Some improvements are expected to include privacy warnings during air tag setup and alerting people sooner if an unknown air tag is traveling with them. We can't keep her here forever. If they find her, we're never going to see her again. We got to protect her. That's our job. The whole Jurassic gang's together in the first full trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. It features <laughs> some familiar faces from the original Jurassic Park film, including Laura Dern, Sam Neill, and Jeff Goldblum. And you might also see some familiar places. Parts of the movie were filmed right here in Atlanta. Since the trailer dropped, it's been viewed more than 8 million times. Jurassic World Dominion hits theaters June 10th. Hard to believe it's been, what, 30 years almost since the original? Uh, yeah. Wow. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm, know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, huh? Yeah. Well, this next story is sure to make you smile. A five-year-old Alabama boy knowing exactly how he wants to spend Valentine's Day. It wasn't with his girlfriend, but another very special woman in his life. In fact, five-year-old John Reese Booker asked his Valentine's date in a special way. He prepared a rose and a card that he made himself all for the teacher's aid in his kindergarten classroom. Miss Deborah Peterson, they've got a real special bond because Miss Peterson helped him adjust after he started kindergarten. He has really bloomed. He just took a text <laughs> to me and I've been attached to him ever since. Why did you pick the catfish place? Because that's where she, her favorite place to eat is at. Oh, what a thoughtful little man. guy. That is adorable. So as you just heard, the two plan to eat at a local catfish <laughs> restaurant on Valentine's Day. I like that. He's got style. He does. And you just, you know what? You never know what it, that huge impact those teachers make. Huge. I mean, incredible. Hey, trending this morning, film lovers are soon going to have a reason to return to movie theaters and they're going to do it for cheap. Yeah, let's check in with Brooks Baptiste this morning. He joins us with the stories topping your social media feeds. Hey, good morning to you guys. It's been about two years since the wildly popular subscription service Movie Pass. It crashed and burned, but we have learned that it's coming back this summer. It's going to be called Movie Pass 2.0. And now members will be able to use those credits that they earn towards movie tickets for themselves and for friends. Now here's the thing, the unused credits will roll over every month, but there's a new version of the app and supposedly users can watch ads to earn credits. Here's the thing, your phone camera will be tracking your eyeballs to make sure you're actually watching those ads and not just trying to skip through them. Huh, interesting. Well, this morning, another artist is cashing in on its catalog of hit records. I'm talking about rock legend Sting selling the rights to his work. The estimated $300 million agreement with Universal Music includes Sting's classic hits like Every Breath You Take and Message in a Bottle, as well as some of his solo work. Well, as you know, the big game is just days away and exotic props are a favorite with all fans, allowing you not to just bet on the game, but bet on everything that comes with Sundays. So some of the most popular, and I'm calling them the strangest bets that take place off the field, people are betting on the length of the national anthem, 
They're betting on the color of the Gatorade bath given to the winning coach. And then they're also betting on which brand will air the first commercial. All right, if I had to guess on the brand, I'm going with either Doritos or Budweiser. Budweiser. Clydesdale's going to be yeah. kind of at the front. Yeah, that's for probably sure. a safe mm -hmm. bet. But you, I, can also, you can also bet on if a player will propose post-game or if the power yeah. will go out. We've seen that before. Oh, gosh, please not that again. But I can bet you folks are, that are watching right now, they're going into work today knowing they're calling out on Monday. So well, that's that's I bet on that as well. For call outs. We'll all sure. be here. We will be here. We will be here. Don't, don't you worry about that. Thanks for watching CBS 46 News. Watch us live wherever you are, our mobile and our streaming news app. You can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.